Good day everybody. Welcome to my course on spring hanger design using scissor to software. As you can see in this image that the pipe system or piping is supported using two spring hangers. These are variable type of spring hangers which is supporting uh, the piping system or the piping uh, part with a shoe support. So in today's course, we will be learning how to design the spring support and select from the catalog. Now the main contents that I will be covering in this course are introduction, then what is a spring hanger, next when to use a spring hangers, means what are the requirements that we have to go for spring hanger design and selection then what are the types of spring hangers in general you must be knowing that there are two types of spring hangers one is called variable spring hanger and other is called constant spring hangers so we will be learning uh, what are the major param parameters that changes from variable spring hanger to constant spring hanger and what are the main differences between them so differences between variable and constant spring hanger Next, components of a spring hanger. What are the common components that are used or found in a spring hanger assembly? Then, design of a spring hanger using scissor to software. So, we will be using the scissor to software to select and design a spring hanger from the catalog. In this section, we will be learning a practical case study of variable and constant spring hanger design and selection. So we will be taking a practical problem of a tank connected piping system where we will be defining a variable spring hanger at first and once we understand the concepts of variable spring hanger design, we will be moving towards the constant spring hanger design and selection at the same location. So those things we will be studying in the case study and towards the end we will be learning some of the salient points that we should remember while we will be selecting or designing the spring hanger for our project or for our actual work here you can see that all these spring hangers are variable type spring hangers and depending on installation end connection and other things uh, there are basically seven types of spring hangers that are available. This one is type A, type B, type C, type D, type E, type F, type G. And type F is the bottom supported. You can see that the pipe is on top and it is supporting the uh, piping system from the bottom. And all these A to E are from top supporting. You see that pipe will be somewhere here, which will be connected with the spring using a lug or a clamp. And uh, the actual structure uh, spring will be hanged from a supporting structure or civil member. Uh, as you can see that this is the civil structural member from which uh, the spring is hanging and it is supporting the pipe near this location and depending on the position of the spring and how it is connected to the structure uh, they are differentiated from type A to type E and type G is two springs are connected together to support the piping system. Now introduction. Pipe stress analysis is incomplete without proper pipe supporting. We all know that that piping supporting or proper supporting of the piping system is a major part of stress analysis. Most of the time by doing proper supporting and proper support selection on the existing piping system, we can easily qualify systems and routing change and other considerations normally does not require if we can use proper type of supports. Now one key element in this 
pipe support system is the spring hanger pipe support so pipe hanger uh, spring hanger pipe supports are one of the important elements of pipe supporting the major benefits of using spring hangers in piping system are thermal expansion compensation it may be expansion or contraction both then load management third is vibration dampening and adjustability so what are these terms mean thermal expansion compensation pipelines are subjected to temperature variations causing them to expand and contract spring hanger supports are designed with springs that can absorb this movement preventing stress on the pipes this is particularly crucial in high temperature environments where thermal expansion is more pronounced so for high temperature critical piping where there is high thermal expansion or thermal movement due to expansion or compression during that situations spring hanger can easily absorb some of the displacement as well as takes the load so during that time to compensate the thermal expansion spring hangers can be used next is load management one of the primary benefits of spring hanger pipe supports is their ability to efficiently manage the weight of pipes and equipments by distributing the load evenly they prevent sagging bending or deformation of the pipeline this not only extends the life span of the pipes but also ensures the efficient flow of materials so the spring hanger shares some of the piping loads with its design with its spring so that the load transfer to nearby equipments or other important components becomes less now vibration dampening in many industrial settings pipelines may experience vibrations from nearby machinery or processes spring hanger pipe supports help dampen these vibrations reducing the risk of fatigue and potential damage to the pipeline so to dampen the vibration of the piping system generated from equipments or some other sources spring hangers can be useful now adjustability spring hangers are adjustable allowing for precise control over the pipes elevation this adjustability is vital during installation and maintenance as it ensures that the pipeline is correctly aligned and supported so here you can see a example of g type of uh, support using two variable spring hangers and uh, the pipe is supported from inter between or connected structures Uh, hence the main objectives or functions of the spring hanger supports can be summarized as follows so what are the main functions or objectives so those we can summarize from the earlier discussion is that to provide necessary weight support to balance the piping system during the complete operating cycle next is to permit the operational movement of the pipe as it goes from cold to hot or vice versa it does not cause excessive expansion stresses in the piping system as the spring load changes from cold to hot or vice versa and sometimes spring hangers can be used to dampen piping vibration as well so these are the main jobs of a spring hanger or functions of a spring hanger now what is a spring hanger a spring hanger is a type of pipe support so it is a pipe support that carries the weight of the pipe and other components to compensate for the vertical movement or thermal expansion of these components so uh, in some pipe routing you will be finding that some supports are not getting low, uh, taking any load and also near the equipments uh, if those type of supports does not take load so most of the weight of the pipe is transferred 
to the equipment nozzle itself but all equipment nozzles have certain allowable limits so we have to qualify uh, those nozzles within those allowable limits so during those situations uh, the spring hangers become highly beneficial so they transfer or carry some of the weight of the pipes and other compensate uh, components to compensate for the vertical movement at the same time uh, along with taking load they allow the thermal movement they do not restrict the thermal movement so they allow the thermal movements also when due to pipe thermal movement the line is lifting at some support points and the load is getting transferred to equipment nozzles spring hanger supports are a good alternative that carries some of the pipe weights while allowing the thermal growth of the pipe and when the spring type spring hanger supports or springs are used in critical piping systems they are most widely used again spring hanger supports are basically mechanical resilient devices with a casing housing that has a helical spring inside it so in this image you can see that inside of this casing there is a helical spring that compresses or expands as per its application and takes care of the sum of the load while allowing displacement in general condition it is pre compressed during installation while in operating condition this inside spring is further compressed or expands depending on the pipe thermal movement so during the operating condition the spring support always bears some load they are also known as flexible hangers so one of the term of spring hangers are flexible hangers here you can see that from structure the pipe is supported using a spring hanger and the pipe to spring connection is using a clamp support so that's all for the introduction module hope you understood what device or what we call as a spring hanger in this practical example also you can see that from the structure one spring is hanging which is uh, supporting the pipe and a clamp support is used to connect and this is the hanger rod which is there in between the spring as well as the pipe let's move on to the next module